Hey gun people, this is going to be uh, adding a uh, magazine extension to an 1100. Uh, hopefully you can see that, there's enough light, I got all my lights on, if you can't see it, that's the best I can do. I'll try to put this maybe over here a little bit. So, uh, so when you get your magazine extension, it's come like this, this is the longer one, they have a shorter one that will just give you two, I think this one gives me three or four, let's see, 1187, 1100, 10 shot. So I'm going to have 10 shots in my uh, 1100 now. So basically what's going to happen is this tube is going to replace that nut and I'm just going to put that there. Not a big deal. Um, I figured I'd do it on, a, on video in case nobody's ever done it. So I pulled the spring out the back here before I figured I'd do a video. So I was taking it apart, I pulled the spring out and went, ah oh, shit, I'll just do a video on this in case somebody wants to know how to do this. I don't know why they gave me a plug. If I got 10 rounds in here, I don't need no damn plug, but whatever. Got four damn plugs. So the parts that come with this is basically a spring. Your, um, I just call it like a brace. It's an extension tube brace. This is going to go over one half of your tube, and the other one's going to go over the barrel, and that's going to solid up your barrel. So in order to get this on here, this is grooved, it's a screw, so it is basically, this is the same as this cap. All I'm going to do is take this cap off and replace this. But because it's longer, I'm going to need to put a longer spring in there. So, and that, that's usually kind of the pain in the butt, is to get the spring in. And again, before I put this together, I normally spray this down with a little rim oil or something. I mean, I, I don't care what you use. But if I get a new part like this, I'm going to go ahead and ju just give it a wipe down to make sure if there's any fingerprints from the factory, I got a good coat of oil on it. And that way I get any top rust, etc. before I put it together. So I'm going to stick my spring in here on this half, set this to the side. I'm going to take this end cap off here. And a lot of times, if you have to push down the barrel, sometimes you will push the barrel. Now, I've already cleared this. I'll clear it just for GP because I was messing with it. Um, so if this cap won't come unscrewed, putting downward pressure... I'm going to put my hand on the barrel. Oh, he broke the violation! Shut up! You put pressure down here, pushing downward, and it will release the tension so you can unscrew this nut. And then when you unscrew this... Sometimes the spring will fly out depending on how it's locked in there. So you want to hang on to it. And this has a little lock cap in there that I need to spin and it'll come out. See that little piece right there? That's a little uh, metal piece that I'm just going to kind of like it's. I, I call it a tension cap. I'll pull that off just so it gets out of the way. But that's basically your tube, your groove. What's going to happen here is I'm going to put that spring in. This is going to go here, and once I have that on here, I'm going to put this piece right here, and that's going to basically secure those two, the barrel and this together, so you don't snap this off and it's so long, and then put the spring in. So uh, let me unscrew that. How am I going to get this cap out here? That looks like a tension, so I'll use a little screwdriver. Again, I'm just going to uh, take a little screwdriver and kind of... Wow, this thing's pretty low. If I just kind of pry it a little bit around in circles, I'm just kind of putting a little bit of upward torque on here, getting ready to catch it as it comes out, so the spring doesn't fly out. And it's about to come out now. So I'll put it back over here to show you how it's coming out. And as I pull that out, there's my spring. And I held on my little end cap. So, you're not going to need this end cap. You want to keep it, and you want to keep this spring in case you ever want to go back to it. So I'm going to put that end cap and spring over here to the side. Slide my new spring in. Well, first, let me get my wood back on there. I don't want to have that together. I'm going to take the whole damn thing apart again. So I'm sliding my spring in. I'm 
put my end cap on, putting my spring on the other side, and now I've got to make that gap there to where it's kind of equal. I'm going to screw this on. Again, not only do I want to push down on this to put pressure, but I also, let me see if I can back out just a little bit. So I want to get downward pressure on this when I'm screwing this in to get a good tight fit. So see, by pushing down the barrel, I got an extra half turn. So now that pretty much the magazine extension is on, now all I have to do, hopefully that gun will stay there if it falls. So this has a little nut. I could have screwed this on before, but I'm going to go ahead and take the nut off. Take this off and then I'll set it down there. If I want to use this as a sling protector, whatever side I want my sling on, basically this is just a twist tightener. So where you want to put this is up to you. You can go higher, you can go lower. I tend to get closer to the front because that's where the tension is going to be. Let me move this up just a little bit here. Let me put that on. So again, I can put this up here. I can put it down here, in between, wherever I want it. Like I said, I normally try to go a little bit farther up to the top. I'm going to put this through, get it going out the other side, like so. Make sure I got the little side and the big side on the same side. Once that screws through there, put this little nut back on here. Then once I get that started, I can twist this on this side to tighten this up. It's going to squeeze on the barrel and the tube. And now that has solid those two pieces up. And now I have a magazine extension so I can hold, instead of the normal three rounds in here or four rounds, now I can get an extra four or five rounds in there. And this is kind of like the gun I grab when I gotta go out and shoot a critter or something. Um, getting three or four rounds just ain't enough. I usually keep three or four in a tube. And then if I want to keep one in there, I could have five. But uh, now I'll be able to keep ten in here. And I'll probably keep it loaded with eight or nine. And uh, that's pretty much uh, all there is to uh, adding an extension tube, a magazine extension tube, to an 1100. So I've put questions or comments in there. If I missed something, if I went too fast, if I can answer it, that's what the little screw looks there holding those. That's where the little end cap screwed in down there, pushing the barrel. And that is installing a magazine extension tube on 1100. Remington 1100, 1187, and I think the 870 is pretty much the same. But I'm not sure that's on the package. Alright, so uh, let me show you the package just to be sure. Because I'm going to be like, what kind was that? And this. This damn plug, I don't know why the hell that plugs here, but... So here's your magazine extension. Where it says what it fits. And, uh... There's... I'm sure it's got directions on here somewhere. Maybe the directions are on here. Can you read that? Good. Watch the video again. You don't need to read that. Alright! Well, in that there...